when Jesus was born, he says, peace be upon me. You know the verse? You know what it says? Peace be upon me. Can you send me? Peace be upon me, the day I am born, the day I, am, I die, and the day I am resurrected. Jesus, he is in peace. He do not need forgiveness of sin. You see what peace mean here? Peace mean that this person is yeah. above mankind because all men, they pray to God to receive the peace of God, not the anger. Because the one who received peace of God, he is always in a favor place for God. This person, his name is Isa, he's just born. He's just a child, baby. And he says, peace be upon me. And actually, this is about Yahya too. Look like the family of uh, of uh, Jesus. They are always in special treatment. If you read, oh, I quote for you the verse. The, the verse I meant it is a chapter nineteen, verse number 33, 33. Peace be upon me. Who is saying that? Jesus. You see, if you go to the verse about Yahya, it says, "Peace be upon him." In the same, in that, in, in, when Jesus speaks, he says, "Peace on me." <laughs> how Jesus can offer peace to himself peace on me listen listen when when the Quran mm -hmm. speak about Yahya which is supposed to join the Baptist huh? in verse number 19 yeah yeah okay it says peace be on him so it's not Yahya giving himself the peace, it's Allah giving Yahya the peace, correct? That's correct. Okay, we go, and a few verses after, we will see the same verses about Jesus. It says, peace be on me. Okay, how that work? How peace be on me? How Jesus received peace from who? From himself? He must be God. So, Chapter 9, 1915 is about uh, John the Baptist. Chapter 19, verse number 33 is about Jesus. In the case of Jesus, is not peace on him, peace on me, the day I was born, and the day I die, and the day I shall be raised. And here we have a problem. Peace be upon me, the day I die. <laughs> peace be upon me, the day I am born. Peace be upon me the day I'm resurrected. Peace, whatever Jesus is. He is dead, he is alive. He is a human, he is the word of God. It doesn't matter. Peace on me. Who is receiving peace? Jesus. From who? From Jesus. For this is God. In the case of John the Baptist, peace on him, not on me. If you go back to verse number 15. In the case of Jesus, peace on me, not on him. Why? Because simply, Jesus is different. And Jesus as the man, still he can do what God do. He resurrected people from death. Even the Quran says he created from the mud the bird. So how come the Muslim, they remember that Jesus was a man and they forgot that the man, he did what God can do. And if Allah gave Jesus the power to do create creatures, what kind of God he shared the creation with someone else? If the Muslim, you ask the Muslim, who is, who is God? He said the creator. Well, Jesus is the creator. If the Muslim want to say Allah, he gave him the power, first of all, prove it. Secondly, doesn't matter if he gave him proof, uh, uh, power or not, still he's a creator. Right now, as we speak, these birds are created because, by yeah, Jesus. Right. Yeah. So, my friend, Jesus being a man does not change anything. Still, he's God. He's in control of the nature. He's in control of the creation. He's, for, he's forgiving sin. He can make the blind see. He can tell you what you had in your houses. And this is always mentioned in the Quran. He can heal the leper. People, they touch him, they get healed. Jesus can feed thousands of people from nothing. I mean, did you ask yourself why all of those things about Jesus and Muhammad have zero? So, my friend, because in the Quran, the Prophet Muhammad he didn't perform any miracles. Exactly. Why? Because he's a fraud. Then, 
because he's a fraud. You have no proof. Miracles is the proof that you are sent by God. People, they ask for a miracle for a reason. Well, if you are from God, let God support you and give you a miracle. So Jesus, he is just born. He is just one second old. And he is talking in the credo. But, but my sheikh, um, he told me that uh, on, uh, during Moses' time, it was the it was about wonders and stuff like, and during uh, Prophet Isa's time it was about miracles and things like that, and during Prophet Muhammad's time it was it was about literacy, literacy. Do you know what I mean? So like my they friend, say that the my, Quran my, my, is my the friend, my friend, my friend. The, let us let us know. let us go by this stupid argument. Uh, first of all, the Quran is a silly but, book. But but, but any, any, anyone who speak Arabic, he knew the Quran is a stupid book. There's nothing about amazing language. And even the Arab in the time, they said to him, if we want to make a book like this, we can, but we will not. Same time, let us go for the sake of argument. You are saying to me that Shakespeare must be God because Shakespeare, he wrote a book. I cannot write. Can you write a book like Shakespeare? You cannot. So what no, can, what can, like, what can like excuse saying, my, my, my friend? Yeah, like my friend, saying, this is an excuse because all yeah. the prophets of God, they have miracles. If, if, the, if the book of God is a miracle, well, that goes for all the prophets. So all the prophets of God, they have book of God. And you, can you make a book, a book like the book of yeah, God? Uh, uh, Uthman, can a Muslim can make the, the same as the book which he given to Musa? Nobody can do that, right? He will say no. No. That's okay, not. so that's yeah, all, all the books given to the so prophet. God. So all the prophets given to the books, their yeah. books are miracles. So why the Quran only? is the only miracle Muhammad have if it's a miracle which is not and we just showed you the Quran is full of errors yeah it, contradictions stupidity science yeah, it, so what is the miracle yeah. there in the same time yeah I read it it's uh, illogical and my sheikh says that the Prophet Muhammad he split the moon but that's a I lie. researched that, that, it that, is a lie. that was a lie no the Quran doesn't say so yeah you know it doesn't say so the Quran says the moon is split so, and judgment day is near, which is a false prophecy. <laughs> so my friend, I don't know if you want to believe or not, but my duty is as a Christian to invite my friend Uthman, who I spent some good time with you and I broke my back. By the way, I have a very bad pain in my back right now because I should not be staying for long. I have an injury, but I am praying to the Lord that today you will receive his salvation and my time was not wasted so my brother Uthman I invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior oh man Jesus his name is amazing his words is amazing his act is amazing. Everything is about him is amazing. So, what is left? So the Messiah, he can save me. No one else can save you. No one. Not me. Not angels. No one. No prophets. Nobody. Only Jesus. <sighs> I invite you, Uthman, because your soul, your soul is a gift being given to you, and you might lose it today. I might lose it today too. I might go now to sleep. You never know. I might not wake up. Who knows? Who knows what will happen a second ago or a second after? In the other day, I was just doing carrying some stuff, and suddenly I have an extreme pain in my muscles. I felt like I'm dying. Extreme pain, and I said, Lord, if, if I can't even walk. This is how easy human being can be damaged. A second before, I felt like a hero. I'm so strong, I can carry a refrigerator. A second after, hardly I can walk. Honest to God, hardly I can even lift my leg. This is how easy human being can be damaged and gone. History. And your name, it might be remembered in the book of God as the one being saved. 
or might be remembered in the book of God as someone who don't deserve to be saved. Which one do you want to be? I'm scared for my soul. This is why you have to you have to decide. This is why you know uh, uh, we, we we think we are young. We are not going to die tomorrow. Uh, you know, but there is many people that die. They are infant, correct? How many infants yeah. die every year? Infant. You never, you never know. You never know. So if I am young, doesn't you mean never I'm not. Exactly. So my friend, Islam is discovered now for you. But you know, for everybody, Islam is a scam. So what you will do? Look, even the Quran, chapter three, verse number one eighty-three. They say to him that Allah He made a covenant with us not to believe in any messenger unless he made an offering and then allah he sent the fire from heaven to consume it which means is a sign to agree that allah he sent this person the quran says so it's an order was given CP, to the jews can you show me where the yes my friend uh cp hmm. Can you show me where in the Bible, like, how can Jesus uh, save me? Well, we have uh, tons of uh, places in the Bible. You know, you can go right now with me, go to Google, and says, you know, where Jesus says, how, how I can be saved by Jesus. Jesus says, I am the door, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, come to me, those who they are tired, and I will comfort you. I am the truth. No salvation but by me whoever believe in me and i will live this is what jesus said so we have tons of verses in the bible jesus saying promising not maybe not maybe it is a guarantee by jesus and by his name it's not even like so, so maybe I'm listening, my friend. What because you, you know the thing. Because you know the thing in Islam is like, like you never know whether, like, even if you're a good Muslim and you perform all the best deeds, you do all the fight, you you do everything right, you you're still not guaranteed. Yeah, uh, Jannah. You know, you're still not guaranteed ever. Uh, 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 my friend, uh, Othman, I don't know if you watch my videos. We show always that Muhammad, he says, that your destiny is written before Allah, he created you. So it is guaranteed where you will go before you are made, but it's not guaranteed to you. It's guaranteed as Allah, he decided before he created you. You know what I mean? When it, when an is this the same? Is this the same principle in Christianity? No, is this the no, same principle no, no, in Christianity? No, no. That no, no, this is why, this is why, uh, uh, in like, if you go to the book, uh, and let, let, let us show you some verses in the book of John as an example John 14 in John 14 it says verse number uh, I think six let me let me check or oh, give me a second John 14 all right okay read with me carefully Othman Jesus says unto him, I am the way, I, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Do you see it? You know that, uh, you know, you used I don't to be know if 10 minutes ago, right? So Allah, supposedly, he is the truth, Al-Haq, right? One of his names. That is a story from Jesus. Jesus is the truth. And by saying he is the truth, he is well, saying, I you am know, God. So I am the truth, and I am what? I am the life. Is it all life coming from God, Uthman? Wow. Isn't it all life coming from God? Jesus just said, Jesus said unto him, I, I am, am the, the truth, truth, I am the life, and, the life. and no one can come to the Father. He meant going to, to, to the kingdom of the Father, the heaven, except by me. So the salvation is only exclusive by Jesus. No prophet, no no one, no me, not not anyone, no priest, wow. no bishop. 
it says it so clear. But like, what do you have to do? Like, like so, like, what do you have to do as, as a Christian? Like, the first thing to do is to believe in like, Jesus. You, Listen, Uthman, faith, faith is number one key to be with God. Faith on Him. So when you have faith, you have the key of salvation. Faith of a truthful person, that's mean he believe in what Jesus said and he do what Jesus said. Not only I say Shahada, and then I do and do all the garbage stuff, and then I go and I touch the black stone, and then Allah forgive my sin. So you are with Jesus, you believe in Jesus, well, you believe in what Jesus said, and you follow. He said, be holy like my father. He said, uh, uh, if somebody asks you for your coat, give him your dress. He said, love your enemy. So if you believe in Jesus, you believe in what Jesus stands for love and peace, being beautiful with your parents, with your family, being beautiful with everybody around you, loving everybody. That is Jesus. So when you say, I believe in Jesus, you don't believe in a name. You believe in a life. That's why Jesus said in front of you, I am the life. For I will give you a new life when you believe in me. Not only new life in the hereafter, but life now, he will change you. What do you think? Oh, yeah. What, what? Do you accept the Messiah? Oh, wow. Yeah, I accept him, man. Hallelujah. Accepting. Hallelujah. Oh, what a beautiful oh, night. <laughs> what a beautiful night. You call I'm me. Sorry. You call me. I'm Mr. so happy, Israel. man. You call me Mr. Israel when you call me when you text me first time. You insulted me, right, Mr. Israel? Look what happened to you. I mean, isn't it amazing the Lord is? You contacted me to insult me. You contacted me to put me down. You contacted me to get me busted, supposedly. And look what happened. The Lord saved you, my friend. Your anger, your hatred, nah. switch into something different. You just said, I'm so happy. Tell me about what you feel. I don't know. Like, I got, like, goosebumps all over my body because I'm also sick as well. But I just got this rush of energy, and if it feels amazing. My friend, I can hear actually from the beginning, I feel like, you know, you are, that's why I was saying you are okay. I, I can tell that you are ill. And now it is a chance for us, all of you Christians, please pray for our brother Osman so he can be healed in his name. And he is powerful. He is able. He can do it. No one else can do it. So we pray in his name to heal you, to touch you, to refresh your heart, not only your body, so you can live and be a new person with the Lord, with the Messiah. Osman and your life be given to you today, my friend. Honest to my, my, honest to my Lord, Mr. My, CP, my, sorry. my back is hurting me so bad. It's hurting me in a very, very bad way. But even though you made me so happy, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for the Lord to send you to me. No, no. For the Lord, he made me happy to serve you, my brother. The Lord, he wants us, he says, if you want to be a master, you are a servant. The servant is the master in Christianity, not the opposite. So I'm so happy to serve you today. CP, I just want to... No, CP, I am happy, man. I am grateful for for what you have shown me. I was ignorant. But you, you showed me the truth, man. Like everything you showed me and everything you said was the truth. It's It wasn't a lie. You weren't you were making things up. 
I'm so happy for you, my friend. I don't know what but, to say. Uh, but now, but now I'm scared. Like, do I tell my parents? Do you know what I mean? Because here, like, if you leave the 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 dean, if you leave the religion, they they will either uh, imprison you or they will execute you. My friend, it's I, I not leave, safe. I will leave your security for you. You do what you think is smart. The Lord, He asks us to be honest, and at the same time, He asks us to be smart. So, if your life will be in danger if you go in the street and you say, "I am, I am out of Islam," so don't do that. Wait. You are a believer and believe in your heart. It's not something in appearance. We are not hypocrites who will go in the corners and shout like what the Muslims do. So, I will leave what is for your security for you to decide when it's time for you to announce that you are a Christian or when it's not right to do so. And maybe we pray that the Lord will open doors for you. Maybe you leave to a different country. Maybe I don't know what you would do. I'm not going to ask you anything about yourself. I don't want anyone to know anything about you. But you decide what is right for you, my friend. And the Lord will be with you. The Lord is with you. But just be smart. Yeah. You know, it's not like I don't want you to go say, hey, I became a Christian. And no, don't do that. No, no, don't do that. You see, the Lord, he value your life. But I want to save my brothers. Well, I want to save my brothers save, and my you, sisters. You can save them. You start talking to them. Don't say anything about now you decide what you decide. Start sharing with them ideas. Start sharing them with them what you what you think is right. Show them the mistakes in the Quran. And when it's time to come, you tell them. They leave Islam and then you offer them Jesus. You tell them, well, you know what? I'm a Christian. I want you to be saved with me. I want you to follow the Messiah, who's, you know, who, the only Savior. You don't have to say things right away. Just wait for the right time. There is no... There is no name better than the name Jesus. I mean to that. That's the truth. I cannot agree more, more you know, with That's you. the truth. Yeah. Even actually, even the Muslims, I remember when I was in the Middle East. I they say to me things I could not understand. I remember once a friend of mine, he's a Muslim, he's a very nice guy. He said to me, you Christians have God, but you don't have faith. And we Muslims have faith, but we don't have God. Now this guy is way older than me, but we go on like, you know, we, you know, we go for, he, he likes shooting, I like shooting since we were kids. He had many guns, I, we have many guns. So we go together, we enjoy shooting. And then one day he said that to me and I could not understand it. What this guy is saying to me, you have God, but you don't have faith. And we have faith, but you don't. we don't have God. And then way after I spoke to him again, I said, listen, once you said to me this, and I think, uh, you know, because he's older than me. So I think I, I think you, you are saying that we have the true faith, right? The true God. He says, yes, you have the true God. This is what, the, what my dad says to me. This is what my mom says to me, that we Muslims, we have faith, but we don't have God. And he was talking about Christians who don't follow God no more. He was saying, we don't see you praying. We don't see you following. We don't see you, etc. You know, talking to me is talking about the Christian in general. So you have God, but you don't have faith. We have faith, you don't, we don't have God. So which one should we care for? Well, having God first, because if you don't have the true God, your faith is, 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 a, is a waste. You already faith. Fail. Yeah, you're, you already say. And he is from a very Sunni family, very, very, very conservative Sunni family. And I was shocked when he said to me that his mother, she said that to him. His father said that to him. That they have God, but they don't have faith. We have faith, but we don't have God. That is Islam, my friend. And that is an, a message to all the Christians who have God, but don't have faith. The Muslims are jealous from you because you are the one who have the true God. They go, they pray five times a day, they do rituals, the, but there's no God in their religion. That's the thing with Islam. Even if you pray five times per day, you pay zakat, you do all these things, your salvation is not secured. You still may end up in hell, you know? 
you you you're truly not saved. Even if you do all these things, you're still not saved. My friend, do you know the hadith about the distance of a cupid? You know it, the hadith. I don't know for how long you are watching my videos, but uh, but Muhammad he said. I don't know. Yeah, Muhammad he said that you know when we said to you, I showed you that uh, the the sperm is uh, in the mother womb for forty days. The same hadith. It says. Yeah. Read really yeah. carefully. Here we go. It says here that by Allah, he swear, Muhammad, by Allah, a person among you may do the deeds of people of the, the fire until there is only a cupid or an arm breathe distance between him and the fire. And then, and then what is written by Allah, Allah has ordered the angels to do, proceed, and he does the deeds of people of paradise in the interior. So it's not your deed, it's not what you work, it's what's written for you. And then he continues saying the opposite. And a man may do the deeds of people of paradise till there's only a cupid or two between him and paradise. And then that is written, proceed, and he does the deeds of people of fire, and he enter. So at the end of the day, is what Allah wrote for you, is not what you do. So all of Islam is a joke. Because you pray, you don't pray, who care? It's what Allah wrote for you at the end of the day. Here we go, the guy, he was doing the deed of paradise. Yeah. All his life praying, all his life is worshipping, all his life doing jihad. And then what is wrote by Allah will take over and he go to hell. Where is justice? It's just a you know, good luck. Yeah. yeah. So my friend Uthman, you are with me for long and I'm sure you are tired. You tell me you are sick and actually me, myself, I am really, uh, uh, you know, uh, sitting for long. I want to say thank you very much. Do you want to say anything for those Christians? Do you want to say any message to them? Do you want to say anything to the Muslims? I just want to say to the Muslims, they, they just got to open their hearts and not be ignorant. Don't, if their, if their evidence is right in their face, they have to read it. Do you know what I mean? Because God is, he's not deceitful. He will show you the truth. He will, he, he will show you the way. Do you get what I mean? That's the th one of the biggest thing uh, thing about the Quran is saying it says that the Quran is it's easy to understand. It's very easy to understand. But the thing is, the Quran is not easy to understand. It's a big headache. You can't understand it. Even if you understand it, you have to read the hadith. You have to speak to the sheikh. You have to know what the context is about. It's just a big headache. Actually, uh, uh, Uthman, even the Quran says nobody understands the Quran save Allah. You know that? You, you know that? Uh, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. If it says that, I'll take your word for well, it. Well, yeah. you know, I don't say things unless it's true, right? So here we go, chapter 3, verse number 7. It's it true. says It says that there's a huge part of the Quran. Nobody knows what it means save Allah. Read it. Hmm? Here we go. It says there's yeah. verses in the Quran, uh, uh, which is confusing. And seeking their meaning, explanation, none knows the explanation of those verses save Allah. So why Allah is in them? If the if the Quran is the book of guidance, you send me a book full of nobody can understand save Allah. This is Muhammad the thief. He was writing, he was copying from the book of Waraq ibn Nawfal. He put it in the Quran. People they ask him what this is mean, he don't know. This is what happened when you are a thief. Like now I write a book and then I copy from your book. Let's say I don't know anything about mathematics and I copy from your book a mathematics uh, issue and then I put it in my pages, claim that this is from me. You ask me a question about it, I have no idea to say. This is exactly what happened to Muhammad. Only Allah knows what he meant. So why Allah he sent it to us? Yeah. So, so Uthman, thank you very much. That's my true. CP. Thank you for being here and I pray. Do you want to pray with me to the Lord, my friend? Yes, please, let's pray. Let us pray, me and Uthman and all of you. Let us put our head down and let us close our eyes and let us say, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, take the hand of Uthman and guide him. O oh Lord, be with him. O oh Lord, be with his family. Open their heart. Open the way for them. Let them see the truth and the truth will set them free. You said, I am the truth. You said, I am the way. So lead them in the way and don't leave them alone. You Lord, you open the eyes of the blind. You Lord, you hear the leper. You Lord, you hear the one who is dying and sick. 
You, Lord, you open the eyes and make the one who cannot walk, walk. You, Lord, you can give a new heart. And today you give a new heart to our brother Uthman. So give a new heart to his family, to his mother, to his father, to his children, to everyone around him. Let him be touched by Uthman. Let Uthman lead the way and let him be a light in his house, in his community, for your glory. In his name we pray. Thank you, Uthman, for being with us. May the Lord bless you. Thank you, CP. Uh, thank you, CP, for the praise. I don't know if you believe this, but for the first time, I feel like I have sense of security. You get what I mean? Like I don't feel, I don't fear death. I mean, my friend. I, I don't fear for my soul. I believe you. I believe you. Like it's. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like. I have this sense of security, like like nothing will happen to me. My friend, nothing will happen to you, because whatever happened to you, you will be with Jesus anyway. You see people, they threaten me, they want to kill me every day. Do you think, like, everybody can be killed, correct? Everybody can be, all of us, all of us we will die anyway. The Lord, he yeah. says, that Jesus, our Lord, he said, let the dead bury the dead. We are walking dead people, my friend, but the question is, there's death and there's life and the life is the coming life with Jesus is what we care for this life is temporary it's just a short journey you don't you know you, yesterday you are born today you are adult tomorrow you are a growing with degree here a, a week after you are dead this is how life is so don't worry Jesus says don't worry about those who destroy their body worry about those who destroy your soul and today your soul is saved your soul is giving you security. You are secure in your soul. The body is going to perish. Thank you, CP. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. Thank you so much. And I'm honored to talk to you today. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna read. I start I'm going to read start from um, the book of John. Uh, the new gospel. Yeah, start from the book of John and then choose whatever you want and take it easy in reading and try to understand and try to live the verses, not only read the verses. We don't care for memorizing, we care for living the word of God. For God's words is a life, for he is the word of God. So live the word, not only read the word. Don't memorize the word, live them. Be part of the story. Be part of Christ. Be part of his message. Be part of his book. For your name is written there. And today it is written. Anything you want to add, Uthman, before we go? Uh, like, I don't know how, how to explain it, but... It feels like, I don't know how to explain what I'm feeling, man. It, it feels really amazing. I'm so happy for you, Othman. Well, feel free to contact me anytime. If you have a I, questions, I will be happy to hear you. I'm not going to keep you longer. I'm so sorry for calling you, Mr. I'm so sorry for calling you Mr. Israel. No, no That problem. was very bad. No problem. It's okay. I understand. All Muslims call me names. They insult me for you know it's okay and the lord he says it's a blessing for you to be insulted no problem i am insulted because of his name no problem it's a blessing for me you did not do any harm you gave me a blessing it's all right and look what happened the lord he blessed me more by your call to me i'm blessed you are blessed all of us we are blessed by having you so my friend thank you thank you for being with us i will let you now go thank and, you cp and I, hope, I hope i will hear from you more good news in the future take care Thank you, CP. I just want to say one more thing, okay? All right. Jesus is the way I mean, and the truth I mean, and the life. I mean to that. I mean to that. Take care, my friend. Take care. God bless you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, CP. Bye. -bye. All right. And now, don't worry about the dog you have at home or your neighbor. I don't know if your neighbor. Maybe it's your neighbor, because. In Islam, dogs is haram. Unless it's a guardian dog. Allah will punish you. And I think it's a guardian dog, right? So maybe because it's a guardian dog, you have it. Islam is a religion of phobia. Dogs is haram. Music is haram. 
but the breastfeeding for adult is halal. One night stand is halal. Go into the house of your son and flirt with the wife is halal. But the music is haram. Breastfeeding for adult is halal. Short skirt is haram, brother. But looking at legs is okay. So I want to say thank you guys for being here.